morning student today we will study about the third chapter of chemistry that is separation of mixtures so as you know substance are grouped into two types one is pure substance another is mixture we will study about pure substance pure substance are made of one kind of atom elements and compounds they form pure substance element are made of atoms same kind of atom and compounds are made of same kind of molecules suppose you take a, about compound water molecules one molecule what is this having a glass of water is also made of same molecules that is made of hydrogen and oxygen and take a gold for elements one gram gold will show the same and 1 kg gram 1 kg uh, gold will also say will show the same thing then we will study about the pure substance and characteristics pure substance uh, first character uh, is it is made of same composition same composition means gold aluminium silver you take One gram and make into many things. One kg of gold, what uh, it will made up same kind of composition or of gold only. You cannot find any. One glass of water also so only water molecules only. And the second one, it is made up uh, same properties. Take uh, silver or iron and. Uh, 10 grams you suppose take and make it into very smaller piece one gram or one piece of iron will show what the properties that uh, entire big particles of iron will also show the same particles suppose what properties think about uh, gold or silver it will shine that is one property and the third point is it is a uh, substance is uh, having say melting point high melting point and boiling point take the case of ice ice is the solid state of uh, water ice is formed by water molecules and its melting point is 0 degree celsius and boiling point is 100 degree celsius then the last point is of pure substance it can be separated by any physical means so water we take example of water we cannot separate uh, water into its uh, elements like uh, hydrogen and oxygen by any physical means chemically we can do that one then mixtures by adding a mixture consists of molecules of uh, two or more substances it may be elements or compounds or both in any proportion and they do not undergo any chemical change for example a number of gases is mixed uh, with air and what you eat in mixtures we are eating mixture that also having different types of things like uh, peanuts and uh, other things are also mixed with that one but we can know that one it is uh, not having same proportion any proportion you can mix according to your choice then constituent of mixture of one with another it may differ according to our taste or according to situation also so characteristic characteristics of mixture first one the constituent in a mixture may be present in any ratio or proportion you take uh, water and add some lemon sugar and salt according to your test other may mix with uh, its 
his or her own taste. Maybe he or she can take one full lemon or two teaspoon sugar or a little salt. So according to your taste also you can mix that one and make the mixture and it can be in any ratio. In air also many things are mixed like oxygen is mixed, nitrogen is mixed and other compounds are also present or water vapor is there and smoke is there. In any proportion you can get that one. Like uh, nitrogen differs from oxygen's proportion and uh, other things also. Then the second one, a mixture does not have any specific property of its own. No specific property it is having. So it can be salty, sometimes it can be sweety. It uh, differs in a uh, Suppose you take the case of air in forest area or in a normal populated area. The oxygen concentration may be more in forest area and compared to any populated area or where factories are present. The third one mixture does not have a fixed melting or boiling point. Water, as you know, has a fixed melting and boiling point. If you are adding or any impurities is there, so the melting point and the boiling point will differ. Suppose you take a fourth or four glass of water. In one, you add a salt one spoon. In another, you add two spoon. In another, three spoon like this. And then heat it or cool it, its uh, boiling and melting point will differ from each other. The constituent of a mixture can be separated by simple physical means. Anything, suppose rice, you have taken rice with that uh, some iron dust is present. You, with the help of magnet you can separate that one. Then difference, uh, we will study about uh, difference between in a difference between the last uh, chemical means uh, written one, it is when it is energy is liberated while any compound is formed, that time energy is observed or liberated. Observed means uh, you take a, a ice uh, cube and put it on your palm. You will feel cold. So here the coldness is observed. And other things, when you do some rigorous exercise, that time energy is liberated. That time heat will be liberated out from your body. So this is the difference. No. Then, techniques of separation of mixture. Why do we do techniques for the separation of mixture? Why do we need a separation? To remove harmful and undesirable constituent. Suppose rice, dal or anything you have taken and any waste things, uh, stones or husk is mixed with that one, you can uh, remove manually. And these things are undesirable things because we cannot eat that one. So we remove that one. So then to obtain, the second point is to obtain useful substance. So the crude oil, you might know that one crude oil we are getting from other countries and our countries also we are. So we refine them. Petroleum product, we refine them. That is crude oil. It is mixed with uh, several other things and uh, we in a fractional distillation one type of uh, separating technique we from that crude oil we make 
petrol, kerosene, diesel at a separate temperature and even wax, uh, grease, these things are also separate. So useful things be separate from these things and uh, which is used uh, in different ways in our day to day life. Then to obtain a pure sample of substance, purpose making a small amount of undesirable things is mixed in a whether we are doing any scientific uh, things uh, or experiment in a lab or anything is uh, mixed with the medicines. That time what we are doing, we should uh, be careful for these impurities and the undesirable things. Otherwise, you cannot get uh, or we cannot get the correct result. No doubt we will do several experiments uh, for this one. Then, we follow some different methods to separate undesirable things uh, that is mixed uh, with uh, the things what we need and uh, we'll study about solid solid mixture first one we'll study about to uh, hand picking this is a method by to determine the unwanted things to be removed. So the method of separating undesirable things constituent from a mixture by picking with the hand. Your mother is cooking every day. Suppose rice she has given for cooking and husk and stones are fall in that one. So if she will give you that food it will not so she wants to separate that one, the husk and the stones from the rice. So with the help of hand, she can separate that one. If uh, some dal is mixed with rice also, you can separate by hand. This is called as hand picking. And sieving. Sieving with the help of uh, sieve. Sieve means a mess will be there with uh, different uh, sides. So we can remove the undesirable things from that one, from desirable one. So you can take uh, that uh, thing and put it in the sieve and by shaking hands or by removing the undesirable things with the sand of different size also you can do while making your house. And uh, this some examples are bigger sieve is used. Sieve is having different different size. Bigger suppose uh, you want uh, rice uh, with a little bit uh, made into smaller pieces and a uh, little big piece you need. So some powder form is also present. So you can remove with the help of sieve. The powder form, the finer particles will uh, escape through the sieve and uh, the bigger particles what you desire will be remain on the sea like this you can separate at a different size according to your need for separating pearl and diamond of different size also they use these things then winnowing another method of separating undesirable constituent from a mixture by using wind This uh, occurs or uh, these things uh, is uh, the farmers use this one winning method using a fan and uh, they will operate the fan and on a little bit uh, distance they will stand with the husk and uh, chops will be there the heavier particles and uh, they will show that one in front of that uh, fan and or in higher side also in wind also there sometimes uh, they take the help of wind and before that uh, the fan they will stand and uh, sow that uh, materials rice or ask uh, chaps so what will be there the lighter particles will uh, fall for a distance and the heavier particles what they 
need or the desire that will fall near them. In this way, they can separate chop or husk from rice. This is called as winning method. Then another method is their magnetic separation. The method of separating magnetic constituent from a mixture that is called as magnetic separation. And why this things say when in factory areas so, so many scraps are collected and uh, dumped in a place with the help of magnet they can separate and the magnetic material that will be struck to the magnet and uh, other undesirable things will be left behind in this way they separate uh, from a bigger or a pile of uh, waste things Sublimation, another process, the change of solid directly into gas state or vapor state without passing through the liquid state. That is called as sublimation. On heating, the mixture and evaporation is the solid that sublime undergoes sublimation and changes into vapor. The vapors are again cooled back, then without uh, passing through the liquid state again it will come into solid state for example sublimation takes place in case of naphthal naphthalene balls what we use uh, for uh, keeping um, in the almiras for uh, longer longevity of your clothes naphthalene and uh, ammonium chloride iodine camphor dry ice uh, these are uh, some of these uh, examples uh, that uh, sublime uh, directly into vapor state uh, while heating without passing through the liquid state and on cooling again it will, will uh, come into solid state without being coming into liquid state yes no problem then in a solid liquid mixture before that we studied about to solid solid mixture now solid liquid mixture solid liquid mixture like a solid sand is mixed with water or mud is mixed with water mud is a solid sand is a solid and uh, water is a liquid like this so how to separate solid those are insoluble that uh, we can separate uh, with these techniques so we will follow some sedimentation and decantation what is sedimentation the settling down of insoluble heavy solid particles in a solid liquid mixture and it will if you will leave it for some time then it will settle the heavier particle will settle at the bottom and this is called as sediment and the above that uh, sediment uh, the liquid part which is present that is called as supernatant that is called as supernatant liquid then the process, another process is there, the process of pouring the supernatant. Slowly you will pour that one into another container without disturbing the bottom. And that a clear supernatant liquid will be transferred into another container. This process is called decantation. And uh, you have to take a measure without uh, disturbing the bottom you have to do that one then what examples you can take that is a uh, muddy water and sand in water then another process of uh, separating fine suspended solid that is mixed with water and the process of filtration we will separate that one the process of separating fine insoluble 
solid particles from a solid liquid mixture with the help of a filter that is called as filtration techniques you can take a filter paper and uh, take a mod water then you slowly pour that one and the fix it in a stand uh, one uh, filtration for filtration the process is there you can uh, do that one after the school reopens uh, in our uh, class also we will show that one what are the things required and uh, we will do that one and the mixture of uh, fine solid insoluble particle in water we will take the turn of muddy water and during rainy season that type of water also comes into our house and what you will do you have to pass that one through filter paper and the fine insoluble solid will not pass through the filter paper and below that one the things uh, are these liquid part which will pass through the filter paper you can collect that one that is a uh, supernatant liquid or that is uh, a filtrate that will flow through the filter paper and uh, you can use that one and this uh, fine insoluble solid that will remain over the filter paper and it will not pass through and this is called the residue another method of separation when a solid liquid mixture that is soluble that is soluble in form you think about the sea water we can separate that one and uh, the techniques we will use is evaporation evaporation is is a process by changing the liquid into vapor state and uh, by heating you can make it normally when some farmers uh, they go for uh, salt production they make a ground in a field uh, with them and uh, they bring this uh, sea water and make a shallow pond or uh, shallow shallow means less deep and allow 